Hi everyone, how are you? My name is Dr. Angela Celeste May and this is my YouTube channel. Lovely to meet you. I am a clinical, organizational, and forensic trained psychologist and I'm also a professional musician, vocalist, play a bunch of instruments as well. I teach music also and I'm a recording artist, a producer, a writer. I've been blessed to do lots of things um, including appearing in a uh, about three different movies, I think, um, in the last uh, couple years. And um, uh, as myself, both musically and as a psychologist, and also um, an author and public speaker. And I've got a couple companies, so I've been blessed to do many things that I love to do. So I am also blessed to have this YouTube channel and to share some positive content with all of you. So I'm very, very excited to announce that I just recently hit 1,000 subscribers. So mwah, thank you all for that. I really appreciate it. And uh, in honor of celebrating that, besides thanking you all for um, tuning in and for giving me likes and for the wonderful comments on, on my various videos, appreciate all of that. Um, in addition to that, I thought that I would celebrate by posting this video today on one of the, well, I guess the number one subject that has gotten the most views, the most, um, uh, well, yeah, most views <laughs> is my genre series on genres of music. So um, I tell this story about how uh, a few years ago, um, just over the years, I've done, I've got a whole vocal quick tip series that I've done. So you can click on those below. I cover lots of different interesting information for fellow uh, vocalists, but also for anyone who uses their voice professionally or even non-professionally, like poets and teachers, public speakers, all that good stuff. Um, uh, and actually for, uh, there's also good information for anyone who's performing or you know, in some manner. So um, there's good, good information there for you also, depending on the video. Um, uh, and then I also have, you know, some blogs, uh, some posts of some of my own live performances, etc. So, you know, a mix of things, mainly dealing with music, although I throw in some other stuff in there as well, you know, in my channel. Um, but of all of the different subject matters that I have covered, my vocal, not, I'm sorry, my, um, my uh, genres of music, that uh, that one just took off like crazy and uh, many of you seemed to really uh, enjoy that and appreciate the information. So I appreciate that. Thank you for the feedback and for subscribing. Um, when I first did the genres of music uh, series, I did it uh, as I tell the story because I was trying to figure out, you know, what, what can I post about, hmm, you know, uh, that that I'd be passionate about, that I think folks would be interested in. And my husband, he said, uh, oh, you know, you're always saying that people confuse what they, they think jazz is as compared to what R&B is. Uh, people think that uh, if it's a slow song, it's automatically R uh, it's automatically jazz, <laughs> as if there's no fast jazz music. Um, just a lot of confusion out there. So I, I was like, he said, he said, well, why don't you do a video on, uh, uh, you know, do a series on that? So I was like, oh, okay, I'll do that. That makes sense. So I started out by doing, comparing uh, R&B to jazz, explaining some of the background of both of those, and then go kind of going from there. So uh, click on our post, post, and down below links, uh, one of these places, <laughs> links to those so you can check them out. So today, what I thought I'd do is another genres of music video, uh, this time with um, uh, focusing uh, on something I introduced in the first ones when I was talking about the elements that make a, uh, not make, but I guess you could say the elements that are typical to uh, the genre of R&B and um, some of the key things that you typically often often see. And also, um, I talked just a little bit about how to recognize the counting within R&B songs and other, other songs as well. Um, because it's the counting that 
and and the way the rhythm is set up that is a, a key part of many different types of songs many different genres and definitely in within r b so what i thought i'd do today is um a genre of music dealing with r b and specifically looking at um counting and then using the weekend uh, one of the weekend songs as an example so going back to what i had talked about uh, previously in in the you know when i first talked about this um many of you know even if you're not you know a musician at all but you just enjoy music I, uh, you know a little more about music than maybe you think you do because our bodies, you know, oftentimes will naturally we kind of nod our head, pat our foot, you know, or, you know, clap or whatever to the rhythm in, in, the, in songs. And so we may not know what the labels of all of that is, but we kind of naturally do it. We, our ear naturally picks it up or hears it. Now, some folks are stronger in their rhythm than others, but that's okay. Um, basically, the, the basic foundation of many R&B songs is that they are written in what we call uh, the most, um, I hate to say most, the most basic, um, straightforward of rhythms, and that is what we call 4-4 time. So if you are a musician, you recognize time signature or, or time meters that we call 4-4 time. And basically what that means is that the song is written so that every measure, every bar, every segment is counted in four. So it's one, two, three, four. And I'm doing this particular design like this movement because this is how we conduct. This is how we conduct four, four time. So if you see someone, a conductor, right? And they start up here, what we call the downbeat or the first beat, that's one. So it's one. Two, you go across your body over to the other shoulder, that's two. And then you go, go across back to the same shoulder, that's three. And then you swoop up and that's four. So that's a real quick basic lesson on conducting. So if you see an orchestra, classical music, jazz, whatever, and the conductor is waving her hands or waving his hands, that's what they're doing. They're conducting the beats. Now, there's a lot more involved in what they're doing than that, much more complicated, but um, conducting beats, I'm getting adjusted here, sorry. Conducting beats is, is um, a basic element of what they're doing. So when you listen to songs, listen to some of your favorite songs, no matter what the genre, see if you can pick out those beats. Some songs are written in 4-4, four, four. some songs are written where every single measure, every segment gets three beats, or two beats, so it, there's more variety. But for today, for now, we're just gonna focus on 4-4. Four, four. And most of, or many to most of the R&B songs that you might listen to, and also, also a lot of the pop songs, are often written in 4-4. Four, four. So you can practice seeing if you could pick up, like listen to your favorite pop song, R&B song, gospel too, um, and see if if you think it sounds like it's in a 4-4. Four, four. And 4-4, four, four, when I say each segment, that means that you're counting four beats throughout the whole song. So it repeats one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It, it repeats. So having said that, when I did the previous genres of music, um, I, I talked about um, uh, what we call the back beats or the off beats. So a lot of R&B songs are written um, in such a way with that the second beat and the fourth, that's the third beat, <laughs> the second beat, I'm sorry, one, two, let me do that again, where the second beat, three, and the fourth beat are emphasized. So we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So um, having said all of that, we're now going to apply this concept to the weekend song. So I want to make sure I don't get kicked off of YouTube, have lawsuits or, or the weekend's management run after me. <laughs> Not management, but <laughs> all due respect as a fellow musician, a fellow writer, I totally support and agree with and champion 
artists being able to protect their music and their artistry, absolutely. So I don't want to um, uh, take anyone's stuff and, and run away with them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just a snippet of the uh, the weekend song, Save Your Tears. So this is a, just a snippet from Save Your Tears. And hold on a second. Okay. So I might not even play it. I might just, uh, I'm going to focus on the lyrics and the counting. So hold on a second. Okay, so um, this is the part in the lyric, if you know the song, or if you don't know the song, you can look it up. Uh, the part in the lyric where the lyrics are, if I can see that right. Okay, the lyrics are, you, you could have asked me, hold on a second, okay. So, you could have asked me why I broke your heart. You could have asked me why I broke your heart. And then the next part of the lyric after that is... And then we're going to go over that. You could have told me that you fell apart. Okay, so those are the lyrics, right? So I'm just saying them to you for a moment. I'm going to sing it a little bit. And we're going to count it. Sorry about, sorry about my pausing. All right. You could have asked me why I broke your heart. Okay, so, all right. Um, so remember that four, that like four, four. This is my baton, my fake baton. <laughs> my pen. Remember that uh, counting that one, two, three, four, right? Now, with the weekend's lyrics, many of them, as I'm looking at the sheet music throughout the song, don't start right on the downbeat, right? They don't start right at one. They actually start at like two and a half. So it's one, two. You could have asked me why I broke your heart. One, two, mm -mm. So the lyric keeps coming in after the, the first beat and a half. So um, I want to talk about how we count, count the half beats also, but let's just do this again for a quick second. So we have, again, so if this is, I'm going to slow it down. So we have one, two, three, four, one. You could have asked me why I broke your heart. You could have told me that uh, blah 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 right okay so that's the four count and how his song fits into the four count because he uh his lyrics for each seg each segment segment throughout the song is not starting right on the downbeat right on the one and is actually not starting right on the two either it's starting on the half beat after the two we're getting complicated <laughs> half beat after the two because of that, uh, that is the mark of a term we called syncopation. What is syncopation? Syncopation is when you are emphasizing the off beats or the half beats. What are half beats? Well, you already know what they are, even if you don't realize that you know what they are. You've heard this a thousand times through your life. You know how you hear musicians and they'll say one and two and three and four or a one, a two, a one, two, a one, a two, or one and two and three. And those ands, the little and in between each beat, the one and two and three and four and, those ands are the half beats. So in the weekend song, he is um, starting his many of his lyrics on those half beats. So if we count instead of the big beats, one, two, three, four, and instead we count all the half beats, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And then we can plug in his lyrics where he says, you could have, to, uh, what is it? You could have asked me why I broke your heart. Okay, so his count is, one, two, one and two, you, one and two, and, one and two, and. So he's singing on the and of two. One and two, you could have asked me why I broke your heart. 
and one and two and one and. So that one and two and three. Each of those ands is like the half beat and it's the off beat. And so because his lyrics, uh, be, uh, they consistently, his phrases start on those off beats, those and beats. That in that way he's creating syncopation, and syncopation is used in all kinds of music. It's a it's just a way of kind of grabbing your attention, pulling your focus onto certain lyrics. Um, it's just a it's a it's a rhythmic tool that uh, you know all kinds of music and musicians use, um, and he's definitely using it. So that so keep that in mind. So let's go over that again. Four four time signature, one. Two, three, four is the timing that many, many, if maybe not, maybe most, I almost want to say, R&B and pop songs are written in and many, many um, uh, gospel songs as well and other songs too. I'm sorry. And other genres also. Um, but we're focusing on the weekend and our R&B. So. Um, so four, four time. That means you keep repeating the, you're doing the timing in the one, two, three, four. So that's the 4-4 four, four time signature is typical of R&B songs. That's the first thing. Second thing is syncopation means emphasizing not the main beats, the 1, 2, 3, 4, but rather the in-between or what we call the off beats, the ands. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. And so whenever you're emphasizing the and, 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 you are uh, dealing with syncopation. You are uh, doing a song or performing syncopation. So we learned about, or we reiterated four, four time. We learned what it looks like to count it actually in terms of conducting. <laughs> One, two, three, four. We learned the terms, or for those of you who already knew it, reiterated the term syncopation which means emphasizing the off beats and, or, or the, the, uh, the in between the half beats. And then we took the weekend song and applied it to all of that. Not really applied it, but we, the weekend applied it. So we're, I'm just trying to help you recognize what you're hearing. So with his song, once again, I'm not playing, you know, I'm kind of sort of singing it to you because like I say, we, we want to respect the copyright and whatnot. So for the weekend song, um, I'm, I'm only taking the, the two snippets um, of the lyrics. You could have asked me why I broke your heart. You could have told me that you fell apart. One and two. You could, <laughs> one and two. You could have asked me why I broke your heart. One and two. You could have told me that you fell apart. One. I did that funny. Sorry. <laughs> One. Anyway, you get the gist. I went kind of crazy over here, but uh, you get the gist. Anyway, so next time somebody asks you, you know that the weekend song "Save Your Tears" is in four-four time signature. It's in syncopated rhythm because he emphasizes those half slash off beats. And, uh, uh, and you know how to conduct it. Bam. Anyway, so hope that was helpful for you today. And, uh, you know, just add it to the, to the knowledge, expanded your knowledge. And um, if you already had the knowledge, just reminded you of what you already knew. So God bless. Take care. And um, give me um, some feedback. Subscribe. Thank you again. I do appreciate and love all my subscribers. Thank you to all of those of you who viewed. Um, even if you didn't subscribe, thanks for stopping by. Give me a thumbs up on this. Feel free to comment below. Tell me what you liked. Tell me what more you'd like to see, hear about, etc. Anyway, God bless. Take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.